Hi, welcome. Happy test day. So you are going to be completing the modified version of Unit 2A test, okay? So your Unit 2A test will come up like this, but I've exempted you from this test so that you can take the modified version of the test. The modified version looks like this, so you're going to be taking this one. So you're going to click on it. When you're ready to take the test, it's going to have a black button down here that says Start Test. But I am going to push preview. This is your read aloud. So for this, I'm going to read out the questions for you. It's going to go kind of fast. You will just pause me for the question and then continue on. So for this quiz, you may use your notebooks that you have been taking notes in. Canvas tracks a log of websites you visit when the quiz is open. If you have an electronic notebook, it will show me. It will also show me if you're getting on Google to Google the questions. Be sure you're using only your notebook for a reference, okay? If you've taken your notes, this should be easy peasy for you, all right? Question number one, how are viruses, bacteria, and parasites alike? They are unicellular and can cause disease. They can infect a host and cause disease, or they are non-living and can cause disease. Question number two, which of the following reproduces by injecting its genetic material into a host cell, bacterium or viruses? Which is a type of pathogen that causes athlete's foot, insects, viruses, or fungus? Which of the following are likely to either be spherical, rod-shaped, or spiral-shaped, viruses or bacteria? Question number five, influenza is caused by a fungus or virus? Question number six, which is not a type of fungus, mushrooms, COVID-19, or mold, which is not a type of fungus? Question seven, true or false, fungus, fungi can make their own food. True, false, fungi can make their own food. Question number eight, fungi are what type of organism? Producers, decomposers. Fungi are what type of organism? Question number nine, where would be the most likely place, most likely place fungus would grow? On the beach, in the desert, damp and shady section of the woods. Where would be the most likely place fungus would grow. Question number 10, true or false? Athlete's foot is caused by a virus, true or false? Athlete's foot is caused by a virus. Question number 11, antibiotics treats both viral and bacterial infections, true or false? Antibiotics treats both viral and bacterial infections. Question 12. Viruses need a host cell. What do they use the host cell for? Movement or reproduction? Viruses need a host cell. What do they need the host cell for? Question number 13. Which is not a disease caused by a virus? Chickenpox or strep throat? Which is not a disease caused by a virus? All right. I would encourage you right now, because this test is not timed, although it will show me the time you spent taking it, though it does not have a time limit, I would encourage you to take a little brain break. I would not encourage you to leave this screen, nor would I encourage you to let your computer fall asleep, but maybe take a second or two to stand up, stretch, walk around the room, and then come back to the test. That's a good test-taking strategy. Another good test-taking strategy is when you're approach a multiple choice question, approach it like a true or false question. So for question 13, which is not a disease caused by a virus? Is chickenpox a disease caused by a virus? True or false? Is strep throat a disease caused by a virus? True or false? So when you start looking at each of those answer choices as a true or false question, if it fits or if it doesn't fit, then it's going to help you eliminate answer choices. All right, let's get back to it. So question number 14, what disease-causing agent is smaller? Is a virus smaller or is a bacteria smaller? 
which disease causing agent is smaller? Question number 15. What type of organism is a bacteria? Are consumers bacteria? Or are bacteria consumers? Or are bacteria decomposers? What type of organism is a bacteria? Which disease is caused by bacteria? Food poisoning, COVID, or herpes? Which disease is caused by a bacteria? True or false? There are some places that bacteria cannot live naturally. True or false? Question number 18. Any organism that receives what it needs to survive from a host, another organism, is what? A parasite or a primary consumer? Any organism that receives what it needs to survive from a host, another organism, is what? Question number 19. Does a host ever benefit from a relationship with a parasite? Yes or no? Does a host ever benefit from a relationship with a parasite? Question 20. Which is an example of a parasite? A rose, moss, longleaf pines, trees, or mistletoe? Which is an example of a parasite? Question 21. What does it mean to be an ectoparasite? Is it a parasite that lives outside the organism? Or is it a parasite that lives inside the organism? What does it mean to be an ectoparasite? Question 22. What does it mean to be an endoparasite? Does it mean that the parasite lives inside the organism? Or does it mean that the parasite lives outside the organism? What does it mean to be an endoparasite? Question 23. Heterotrophic protist is another name for what group of organisms? Viruses, fungi, protozoa. Heterotrophic protist is another name for what group of organisms? Which type of structure allows for movement and looks like little hairs covering the cell? This is question 24. Which type of structure allows for movement and looks like little hairs covering the cell? Is it flagella? Or is it cilia? Question 25. What type of movement structure is an extension of the cytoplasm? Is it a pseudopod or is it a flagella? What type of movement structure is an example or is an extension of the cytoplasm? Pseudopod or flagella? Question 26, and this is an extended response. So for this one, I want you to write in complete sentences with correct grammar. You'll get two points for that. And I would also like you to make sure you give two, one example of each. We'll go through the question. So question 26 asks, or asks you to explain how bacteria can be both harmful and helpful. Give examples discussed in class of specific bacteria. Your point breakdown, like I was just saying, I want you to write your answer in complete sentences and correct grammar, and you get two points for that. So even if you are completely wrong, you'll get half credit if you just write it in a complete sentence with correct grammar. Then I'd like you to give one example of harmful bacteria and give one example of helpful bacteria, or how an a bacteria can be helpful and how it can be harmful. That's your very last question. Again, please remember to write in complete sentences. I'm proud of you guys for finishing the test. Another thing you should know about Canvas, if you want to flag a question, say you want to come back to it for later, you can flag that little part right there. And then when you've answered it, you can go back to it. Okay? Good luck with this quiz. I hope it was good. I will see you virtually soon. Goodbye.